Hi, I'm Daniel Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is problem set 3. Here's your first problem. Problem 1. In a class, 3 fifths of the students are girls and the rest are boys. If 2 ninths of the girls and 1 fourth of the boys are absent, what part of the total number of students are present? Now for the first problem, they've said that in a class, 3 by 5th of the class are girls. And they've also said that if 2 by 9th of the girls and 1 by 4th of the boys are absent, what is the total number of students that is present? Now, what we have to do is, let us assign the total of the class as x children, right? Now, they've told us that 3 by 5th of the total children are girls. So, the girls will be 3 by 5 of x, right? 3 by 5th of the class is girls. Now, boys will be equal to total minus girls. Now, total is x x minus 3 by 5 of x. Now I'm just doing it fast, it becomes 2 by 5 of x. Right, so boys are 2 by 5 x. Now I'll just erase this out and I'll write this down here. So boys, as we just found out, it's 2 by 5 of x. So 2 by 5th of the class is boys and 3 by 5th of the class are girls. Now what you have to do is find the total number of children that are absent, then subtract that from the total children and that will give you the number of children that are present. Now, absent is 2 by 9th of the girls. So, 2 by 9th of the girls. Girls are 3 by 5th of the class. So, 3 by 5x plus 1 by 4th of the boys that are in the class. Boys are 2 by 5x. So, 2 by 5x. Now, these are the children that are absent. So, a is equal to this. Now, 3 ones are 3 threes are. 2 ones are 2 twos are. So, this becomes 2 over 15x plus 1 over 5 to the 10, so 10x. Right now, we'll take an LCM of 15 and 10. The easiest one is 150. Just multiply. I know it's 30, but this is just for simplification. So now I can just multiply 2 into 10, right? So 20 plus 10 is 15, so 15. So 35x x upon 150, right? So 5 sevens are and 5. 30, right? So 7 over 30x. Now 7 over 30x are the ones that are absent. So we'll just rewrite this again. So the absent, as we just found out, is 7 over 30x. Now the total number of children will be absent plus present. Right? So the present will be total minus absent. Now total is x. Absent is 7 by 30x. So just substitute it, x minus 7 by 30x. So x you take common, 1 minus 7 over 30. So LCM is 30, 30 minus 7, so is equal to 23 by 30. This is the number of children that are present. Let's go into problem number 2. Problem 2. By how much percent is 4 fifth of 70 lesser than 5 seventh of 112? Alright, now for the second sum, they've asked that by what percentage is 4 by 5th of 70 lesser than 5 by 7th of 112. So now, first we'll find numbers, we'll subtract them and divide it by the greater number. So uh, 4 by 5 of 70. 5 ones are, 2 uh, are, 14, right? 4 into 14 is 56. So this is the first number, 56. Now, 5 by 7 of 112, right? So, 1s are, 1s are, 4s are, 6s are, 5s, 6s are, 80. So, 80. Now, to find by how much this, by how much percent is this smaller than this, is we have to find the difference and divide it by the bigger number. So, it will become, the answer will be 80 minus 56. That's the difference divided by the bigger number, 80. So, now to find this, 80 minus 56 is 24. 24 by 80. Right, so 2 12s are, 2 40s are. 2 6 are, 2 20 are, 3 10. So 3 by 10 or 30 percent. This is your answer. Let's go on to problem number 3. Problem 3. If 40 percent of a number is equal to 2 third of another number, what is the ratio of the first number to the second number? Now for the third sum what they said is that 40 percent of a number is equal to 2 thirds of another number. What is the ratio of both these numbers? Now, this is the first number and this is the second number. 
So now you need to know that there are two numbers out of which we have to find the ratio of both of them. So let the numbers be x and y. Now what they're saying is 40% of x is equal to two thirds of y. What is the ratio of x and y? Now we'll rewrite this. So 40% is 40 over 100 of x is equal to two thirds of the number y. Now ask, they are, they're asking you what is x is to y. Now by the definition of a ratio, we know that x is to y is equal to x by y. Right? Now you've got one equation, which is all you need. You just need to find out what is x by y. And you have both of them here. So what you do is just shift y down and take these numbers on that side and solve it. That's all. So now we'll keep x here. We'll get y down. Right? Is equal to 2 by 3. And take these numbers on that side. So if you take it, 100 will go on top. And 40 will come down below. So cancel one zero, cancel one zero. Two ones are, two twos are, two ones are, fives are, right? So this comes five by three. Implies the ratio of x is to y is equal to five is to three. This is your final answer. Let's go into problem number four. Problem four. If a sum of money at simple interest doubles in six years, it will become four times in. The fourth sum is based on simple interest. They've given you that the sum doubles in six years. And if it becomes four times in how many years? That's what you need to find out. Now, we know that new money is equal to old money plus simple interest. Now, if you don't recognize this equation, you need to go and watch part one of my simple interest series. All right. Now, your new money, they've said, is double your sum. So now your sum is your principal interest, right? So uh, your principal, sorry. So your principal amount is, your new money is two times the principal amount, right? It's double. Your old money is principal, what you've invested. So what will be your simple interest? Now, if you solve this, you know that SI is equal to 2P minus P is equal to P, right? So your simple interest will become your principal in six years. Hence, after six years, you will add this new principal to your old principal and that becomes 2P, which becomes double, right? Now, now we know the simple interest is equal to P. Now you write your SI is equal to PTR upon 100. So now you know SI is equal to P, right? Now P time is 6 years, rate we don't know, divided by 100, right? Now P and P gets cancelled. So R is equal to, take 100 on the side, 100 over 6. Now you don't need to simplify this because this is not the final answer. So just keep R is equal to 100 by 6, right? Okay, now we just erase this. So R is equal to 100 over 6. Now, now you need to find out in how many years will it become will it become four times the original amount. Now, similarly, how we said NM new money is equal to old money plus simple interest. We now know that new money is four times the principal, right? Now, old money is always principal. So, what should the SI be? SI will be one P plus three P, obviously, right? Because one P plus three P will become four P. Now we know SI is three P. Now we we'll rewrite the SI formula three P. Right, it's your SI is equal to PTR of 100. So principal is always P. Time, we don't know. We have to find out time. Now we will substitute R here because we didn't know R in the first equation, right? So now R is 100 over 6 divided by 100, right? PTR of 100. Now 100 and 100 gets cancelled. So now P and P gets cancelled. So time is equal to 6 into 3. So time is equal to 6 into 3 so is equal to 18. Implies after 18 years, your sum will become four times itself. All right, so this is problem set three. If you found this video helpful, do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd also appreciate it if you tell your friends about it and spread the knowledge. Cheers. To get unlimited access to all my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every Monday. Until then, spread the knowledge.